Welcome everyone to another episode of The Average Day CGO, bringing you tips, tricks and reviews. And uh, today we'll be talking again about the Bamboo Labs P1S printer uh, with the AMS system. But I am not going to be talking about the printer itself today. What I am going to be talking about is the quality of the prints. Now, if you want to learn more about this printer, uh, you know, the capabilities, the pros and cons, please definitely watch my other videos. I have a few videos out there discussing this, but today... I'm going to put this AMS system on the side. So it's all on the side. And what I'm going to do is I am going to show you the potential of a 3D printer. Um, it is it is honestly an incredible, incredible machine. Uh, all you need is imagination, your ideas, maybe Tinkercad or the Bamboo Lab software, and you can print out whatever you want. Usually, just like everybody else, the first thing you print out is the book now here what we've done is let me just focus on this is not just print out the boat in one color but actually use since i have the ams system I actually use different colors and as you can see i mean the quality of this thing and this was like you know maybe not a first bird but uh definitely like a, you know a second or third round because we wanted to test out the different colors but the quality of this thing is, is it's just phenomenal, right? I mean, this just blew, uh, blew our minds away uh, when we printed this out. Uh, but the next one is what really sold me on, on either whether you can call it 3D printing or uh, Bamboo Labs. And this is my favorite, favorite item. It is a simple turtle. Uh, and, but what the beauty of this is, that it actually bounces so this actually printed it out printed in three pieces the, the bottom part uh, the top shelf and and the the head and the tail so there's four parts basically and what I loved and what just was incredible to me was how it could even print out something that could bounce up and down I mean, it is literally, honestly, a little soft to touch. And it moves. You can push the back. So let's move it to the side. Just like a real turtle. Push the head in. The tail comes out. Push the tail in. The head comes out. Uh, you know, my kids, my kids love this. They enjoy it. Um, I loved how this thing printed. How sophisticated the, and simple is it. And if I just bring it closer... I mean, the quality of this thing, the build, is, is just incredible. Uh, it is, it was, this was one of the most mind-blowing moments uh, when it comes to 3D printing, uh, that something like this, for a newbie like me, who never printed anything out, that this thing could print something like this. I mean, this was just very fascinating. It's like creating your own, you, your own toy line. Uh, so, and this was obviously print one color, but you could, utilizes for different colors so this is this was the kind of like the start of the journey yes the boat was nice but this uh i have to say was just one of those most incredible incredible prints anyways i wanted to show you some of the other stuff that we printed uh, and the quality of it and the complications of it so my next design is another one of my favorites and this is a dragon so if you look at that uh, I mean, I don't even know if you can tell, but the the the, the scale the 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 skin of the dragon and the scales that are going uh, all over the place, uh, it is so unique and particular. I mean, it's so specific. I mean, if you just look at even the the, I don't know if you can tell, but the the ear the ears are and the mouth and the and actually i don't know if you can see the teeth uh to print this out and then just the the smoothness of the wings and the tail being as thin as it is and the feet uh just just incredible 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 to print out uh and this was you know and it, it was just one of the most fascinating things again after the turtle this dragon in fact i think we have another one <laughs> that we printed out because uh we just couldn't believe how good how good this this printer was now when we talk about uh dragons we have to talk about this this bird that we printed out 
Now again, uh, very, very um, an amazing, amazing intrinsic artistic. Uh, you just, you know, basically you're, you're using, I mean, you can pick out any design, but for it to print something this complex uh, and and in this quality, I mean, it, this is, and it's not even, you know, something that's very, you know, cheap looking. I mean, this is like nice and thick and you can obviously make it thinner as you want it, uh, make changes. But again, just the quality of the print and the, and the precision, uh, it was just, it's just incredible to me. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, and let's move on to another another of my favorite. Well, this is one of my daughter's favorite products that she printed out. This is actually a moving. As you can see, it's a moving train uh, with you know with a carriage at the back, um, and there was actually some stuff that went in there. I think we lost it somewhere, but as you can see, uh, it is again. Just the just the quality. I mean, there's a few blemishes here and there, but otherwise, this is um, this is this is just incredible. Uh, again, it's like a homemade toy, um, and I, I just I just love it. I just love how, you know the, how how easy it was to make this uh, and how it printed out. And another one of a bit more complicated, uh, something that again my 11 year old found like a design and she printed it uh, and this is this is this is just beautiful so so it create it build makes the stand so there's a stand and there is a kind of a it's like a one of those fidget spinners um, and it literally sits on there and it is perfect i mean the, the print quality on this uh, but using different colors and just the complexity of this thing uh, It is it is just magnificent uh, Truly truly one of one of the the really nicer prints more complex more complicated And as you see, you know as I'll show you the next few they keep getting a little bit more complicated as we go along or more uh, You know more complicated and more useful as well. So for example, this is one of the most silliest thing I've printed. Uh, I actually love this. You know, this is a really great test, especially when sometimes the PLS gets stuck or something and you want to make sure it's still running. You want something quick and easy and something useful. This clip is like the best thing you can print out. It literally takes like 15 minutes to print this thing out, which is insane. And it's actually quite useful because this actually is a clip. So, you can use it for, uh, we use it, you know, when we open bread, uh, the plastics, the bread, and we wrap it up. Uh, you can just clip it, or you just clip it, use it, use it for whatever reason you need. But this is very useful. 15 minutes to print. I mean, this is a small one. You can print bigger ones if you need. Let me see if I have one. Um, I think this is, as you can see, I've printed out a few just because, you know, uh, my wife actually loves it as well because it's useful. We use it for different purposes. Um, so therefore, you know, this thing is always, always really good. Uh, another thing that my daughter printed out, which was, I think you might have seen it in my other videos as well, is this thing. So if you look at this, it is, it is one of those Swiss army knives, I guess you can call it. Uh, it is a bit it's I mean it's not the shop but I mean I guess if you if you hit it you will get hurt um, and it is it is literally a very very smooth way it's actually you can you can do it with one hand I mean if you do it fast enough of, of course in this video like it's hard to see it but if you do it fast enough this is this is really really cool uh, and then you have, you know, things like the flying saucer. Um, but the two things that I've saved for the last end is, you know, I think one of the more complicated pieces and ones that I absolutely was in, was just, just blown away by the complexity and how it did it, uh, how it printed this thing. Uh, so this is uh, the dragon. 
that it printed out. And as you can see, the sharpness of, of each kind of like each bone in its tail. And let me make, see if I can make this closer so you can see uh, from the face. I mean, it's just this the smoothness of the design, the eyes. I mean, it's actually kind of scary. The eyes will make it look so real. Um, and these things are pretty sharp. And then you have, I mean, it's, it is a decent size. I think this thing is, let me see, how, how big is this thing? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna just grab a ruler and if we measure it, it is about 14 inches, right? About four, yeah, it's about 14, maybe 14 and a half inches. So that is one print. This is one print that this printer has printed. Um, again, just just absolutely incredible quality uh, design. I mean, that obviously you take a 3D design uh, and you print it, but for this printer to do something like this uh, is just insane. But for my last one, uh, I think this has got to be one of the most complex ones. And I'm going to take this out because uh, what I'm going to show you is white so similar to the other dragon now this thing is longer and we'll measure it but it's smaller than the other one but this one is so much more complicated and let's see if we can show you up close i mean just from the head uh, the level of detail the print quality i mean this is this is as professional as it gets. Um, I mean, it's straight out of like the movies. Uh, you can totally see miniature designs being created. Uh, you know, if you're like in a Star Wars or something, uh, Star Wars movies. You know, they use props uh, in a battle. Uh, you know, it, it's just it's just insane. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, let me know what you think about all these creations. Uh, they are they are incredible pieces, uh, you know, beautifully designed. The print quality is, is incredible. Uh, you know, I, I again like watch my other videos for the pros and cons, but just wanted to give you a quick overview of the quality of the prints. I know there's a lot of talk about the printers themselves. Uh, you know, the pros, cons, overviews, different printers. You know, some lot and loud, some not so loud, but I really felt like this was a video that I just wanted to make on the prints, the 3D prints that this thing can create. So again, uh, please like and subscribe uh, and thank you so much.